So I recently received the version 9 software update on my Tesla Model 3 and I wanted to give the dash cam a try. I found out that the software enables you to use the front facing camera, or at least one of them, as a dash cam, uh, which is kind of a neat feature. So first step you need to do is actually purchase or use an existing USB flash drive. The one I have I think is around 16 gigabytes, but I think you can use something that's a little less, but supposedly it records about an hour before it erases and then records over that. So first step you actually have to do after plugging in the USB is to format it, format it as FAT32. On a Mac, it says MS-DOS FAT32. It's grayed out since it was already formatted. Assume on Windows it's going to be very similar. So basically, just name the drive and click Erase. And after a minute or so, it should be complete. So after it's formatted, you actually have to create a folder on the root location of the drive and call it TeslaCan. And it looks like it has to be in camel case, at least from what I've seen. So that's what I named it as. After doing so, you're ready to plug it into an empty USB port in your Tesla Model 3, and I'll, I'll show that in the next step. So what you're going to need to do is lift up the tray in the middle of the center console, then flip up the phone storage tray. And you should have an empty USB port, depending on how many phones you're charging. And there you'll see an icon pop up in the right hand side, top of the display. By default, it's set to record. If you press it once, it'll actually download a clip which covers the last 10 minutes. If you press and hold, I'll actually turn off the dash cam. And if you press one more time, I'll turn it back on. And that's probably where it should, it should stay by default. Like I mentioned, if you just press the camera icon, I'll actually download a clip. So if you get in an accident, Hopefully you can maybe quickly select that icon and, and then you'll have the last 10 minutes. Otherwise, the recording, I think, continues for about an hour and then it, it overwrites automatically. And so if you forget to download the clip, I guess it could be problematic. Maybe eventually Tesla will include a feature where it will automatically sense if you're in an accident and then download a clip of the last 10 minutes or so. But we'll have to wait and see what they introduce in a later update. So I decided to give the dash cam a try at night, see what it looked like. And overall, the quality is decent. There's definitely some lens flare from headlights coming in the opposite direction, but you can read out license plates fairly well. And I think ideally that's all you really you really need. I mean, if you get into an accident, just have some sort of video footage of what occurred. And it's certainly good enough for that. So overall, I mean, I'm, I'm pleased with the quality. I want to test out some of the footage in, in the daytime. And I assume it will be a little better. But like I said, it's decent enough. I think for, you know, a built-in option, it, it's it's to the point where I don't really need to buy a separate dash cam. And if you want to improve quality, then, you know, I say go ahead and spend, you know, $300 on, on one that's, you know, gonna meet your standards. But for the most part, I think, it, you know, there's no, no reason why you need to go out and buy a separate dash cam. Eventually, maybe Tesla will introduce upgrade options for the cameras and so some point maybe they'll offer 4K, but we'll just have to wait and see.
But as future updates are released, so I'm going to continue testing the camera and see if there's any quality improvements. In a later update, I'll, I'll try to include some footage from the daytime and see what the clarity is like. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, at least we're able to walk through some of the setup steps and get your dash cam working once you have version 9 of the Tesla software installed. If you'd like to see any other videos, let me know. Glad to put something together, help other Tesla owners out. Talk to you guys later. Bye.